I looked at my friend and I saw some miss, miss calls. I didn't know who he was from. And I was just wondering who who number was. And I looked at a text and it was um, the under 16 Kiwis coach. He had told me that um, I had made the under 16 um, Kiwis team and I was just shocked. It was like unexpected. It's a great achievement just to wear a New Zealand jersey of any sorts. And it is the, the, the real stepping stone behind rep football going forward. And then Junior Kiwi is the next step after that and then of course Kiwi. So once you're in the mix, the only way you can fall out of it is if you drop out yourself. I'm just happy I'm not racing Samoa. <laughs> I will play, I'll play Kiwis at my age, but I reckon in the top, in a row, yeah, I'll definitely get to some more. Have to, uh, yeah, that's big. One thing Benai has always been trained to do is, is have a dart at the right moment, and this one was perfect. He had dead Marines on the ground, markers weren't on side, took advantage, shot out, split the defenders in half, shot up the middle. I'm going to go out on a limb here, all right? So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that by 2024 slash 2025 we will be seeing Benaya Aiwalu debuting for the Sydney Roosters. In the beginning before, um, before we signed him, uh, the Rooster wanted him to move there. But then I told him, no, I want him to stay here. Um, I want him to finish his school from here. And if there's something happened over there to my son, if he stay there, I'm, I'm over here, I'll play myself. There's like loads of boys that just moved to Australia to go play for um, schools. There are schools that like want us boys and they go play um, league in Australia because it's like better, better than first road in here. As you grow up in, as you grow up in league in New Zealand, like it gets smaller because first of team takes over, like players start go play for first of team and then in your club club games, there's only like four teams you're gonna in the competition. I think you would be like every other kid that would go. I'd love the chance to go. <laughs> yeah. But there's a lot of things that need to be looked at. If you had the opportunity to go, I would say yes. But it is a combined decision for all of us, and we have to make sure that he will be okay over there as well because um, you do hear stories of those who have been and those who don't have the support and you know things don't end the you know the right way because I still want to kind of finish my um, school here first and then move over I think the sport league is there is fun but in living yeah I'd rather stay here in New Zealand it means a lot. It's a, it's, 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 it's a final. It's a team we can beat, and, and you know if we, if we fail to win this, and then you're possibly floating around the bottom two, looking at the promotion relegation match 2021. Uh, we definitely don't want a piece of that. We're better than that, you know. We have to beat them. There's no, I want to beat them. There's no like, we gotta beat them. We just, there's no talk to it. We just have to beat them. Like on the AO game, it just depends who, which, who turns up for Tungle College. Jack or Hyde. God, I speak victory over this game. In the name of Jesus, I speak victory over this game, God. God, I pray that you go before us and lead us, God. I pray that you lead me and I'll lead my team. In the name of Jesus, I pray victory over this game. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 The boys really stood the ground and let it be known that he, he was that we went there to take part. There's a fine line between learning and just executing what we just learned, you know. And we just haven't crossed that line yet. <laughs> we just haven't executed what we learned during the game, but um, I'm just hungry for the stub there. And I just hope the boys are like just as hungry as me. 
first half was just listening, came down on the trail like, boys turning the ball over, defending the trail like, um, and uh, you know, I thought Liston should have been the least, they had the wind with them, 25 points out from the first one. The boys know they can do it, you know, it's, I think that's the frustrating thing is, it's just flicking that switch where the boys all connect together and not as individual. Here's up, flush it up at half. Alright, circle up, let's go. Still got to be able to get to three phases. We haven't been able to do that eight. Ball control I spoke about. So forwards, if you're carrying that ball, you just got to hold the ball, man. Okay? Get low, just go down, set up a rack. That's one phase. Look for another fight, set up two. There's three, and I guarantee you, by the time you get the three, there'll be holes there for us. One, two, three, push! It was do or die. It was do or die. Uh, two, there was a clash at the bottom of the table, two teams looking for a win. And uh, one had to get home with the dub or stay home with the dub. And the rest just taught us 12 more minutes. And we were like, damn, how do we whip up something? And at the back of the line now, I, I was thinking, I looked up, I was like, God, please give me a try. Just give me a try. Something to push the boys. Just give me, I just need a try. So I just ripped the ball out of both hands and I went. I just went. And I did my, my old step and duck. I just. Just ran and then when I scored, I was happy, but then I felt this pain on the right, and I was like, oh shit, I can't move. And I screamed, and um, I couldn't go on anymore. Like, I couldn't, but I, I looked at Coach, I was like, Coach, what's up? And Coach said, bro, you just gotta hold your own. I was like, oh, I can't, I'm useless on the field. Oh, I, was, I was buzzed, eh? <laughs> I was shocked. Because if you look at the footage, I never ran when they scored. I stayed on halfway. Like, I couldn't run or move. And, but I saw an ask I just kneeled down and put my head out. Like, Yay! Can, like, like, I reckon we can like probably finish second or third. But yeah, like that's how much fifth having these boys in. Yeah, I, I, I felt pretty happy story. But nah, yeah, I, 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 I felt pretty good. When I saw how many scores, I was like, oh well, damn, cap boys. And I, I kept yelling, I said, cap boys, cap boys. I, I just, I was relieved for the boys. Um, because like, we did put a lot of pressure on the boys for this game. This was a game that we were hunting. You know, you say you want to win every game, but there are just some games you know you should win. I was like overwhelming, like, all the hard work. Yeah, I was crying to my dad. When I walked up to my dad, I was crying. I was like, fuck, oh, you did it. A player's best feeling is to finish the game and get that, that love from your parents. That, that, like what I said, the green light. With my dad, you just, you know, all I'm looking for is just that good game, son. That good, firm handshake with his trinominous forearms. And before we go upstairs and celebrate our victory today, right now, we are going to celebrate three fantastic players and they are receiving their cap for playing 15 games, starting 15 games in the 1A competition. And then look at that, it's no coincidence that the three tries today were scored by the three cap winners today. All right? And the first try, and the first try was scored by Joseph McConaughey! Yes. I think they could have made it a bit bigger, but they made it like more of a um, formal size. Nah, no, but yeah, it's a nice design. Oh, hey! <laughs> the Slicer! 15 <laughs> starts in the 1A competition is now talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Our human bulldozer, Abraham Lowe! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
that's like that's like pretty cool, eh? Because like what's it called? Like I was seeing the All Blacks get their caps, some of them get caps. I'm just gonna make sure that no one touches it. <laughs> Keep it safe. This jersey here is, 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 is an item that carries memories. Good, the bad and the ugly. But at the end of the day, you're going to have some really good laughs about those memories. And that's, and that's the great thing about it, boys. But it doesn't matter. Nice, bro. Good to have you for the season, mate. I, I think with the Blue War is that people will see Seoul's Blue War and they'll see those labels there, family, hardworking, honesty, enjoys himself, has a laugh and people will see that, hey, it's okay to have some of this stuff. Maybe I can take some of those bricks and build my Blue War. You watch out for us, go for us and keep us connected. Keep our hearts mended and keep our hearts strong. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. <laughs> Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.